Welcome to Soccer Arena and a happy good morning to everybody. I hope everybody is well rested. You've taken time to rest properly and be rejuvenated for today. So yesterday we provided two tickets, uh, 2.3 plus out and the 3 plus out. Uh, we came very close to winning the second ticket, but I'm sure if any of you edited the 3 plus out or took out a few games, you would have won both tickets. I added a uh, Basel in the second in, in in our first ticket, the two plus odds. I'm not sure why, uh, but you, uh, you know you should you should blame it on a uh, you know you should blame it on Gary when you drink too much Gary, it affects the eyes. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe, like the video, and share with your friends for visibility. I have some very important announcement. So we went out into a very very interesting period in the season. Uh, I've been telling you guys that I've been looking forward to this period for a long time, but it's also a period that needs to be traded with extreme levels of care. What am I saying? What I'm saying is there are a lot of people who watch this channel who might not be able to edit games or to figure out games that cut. I want to tell you something. There are people on this channel who have been winning every single day right we've only lost two tickets twice in 21 days like it's it's only been twice two days in 20 in 21 days that we didn't win a single ticket but even during those periods there's been somebody or people who've been winning every single day so what we will do going forward is given where we are in the season uh yeah um a lot of emphasis will be placed on the two plus odds. I'll spend more time de-risking the two odds and see how people can win that um, regularly. Then the three plus odds. I'm not going to. I'm not saying I'm not going to spend time on the three plus odds. But what I'm trying to say is the three plus odds will be a little bit high risk, but that doesn't mean it won't win. I'm not a believer that you have to play small odds to win. Small odds do not necessarily win. From my experience but what i'm trying to say is the three plus odds will be for people with a little bit of experience in this space who can tell which games would work and the games that might not or people who just want to pick two or three games from that selection so emphasis is going to be on the two plus odds going forward i also want to say i deeply appreciate everybody who take time to provide encouraging comments i read all your comments i know you guys by name I deeply appreciate it. There are also one or two people who wait until when we lose. Imagine losing two tickets in 21 days. And then you'll find some unfortunate individual who will come and write down a negative comment. Right? You think writing that negative comment is going to help you or this channel. right? Instead, it's those encouraging remarks, especially when we lose. Reading those encouraging remarks energize me. You know provides me with encouragement to to do better on the next election than when you leave negative comments i know it's mostly people you know who are not brought up properly who do that but it's all good but i just want to say for you guys who leave positive comments i know all of you by name i deeply appreciate you and you are the people the reason why i go the extra mile i spend time because it, it, it involves time to analyze these matches make it my own and make sure we can win on a consistent basis. So I deeply, deeply appreciate you guys. And you're the reason I'm doing what I'm doing. Okay? So um, let me quickly run you guys through uh, the games that we have for today. The very first match we have here is from the Iceland League. It's a game that involves Cop Copa Voga versus Velo. And to understand the prediction, we need to look at the away team, their home form. So it's quite interesting that the away team, right, has only lost, technically they've only lost once, right? They've only lost once in their league. Uh, this other loss was after 90 minutes. And, and, and that doesn't count. That doesn't count. So we're just going to focus on their last five games. But I'll let you know why I choose this game. Now, let's check the home team. The home team isn't <laughs> they're anything but better 
just a single win uh, at home, not good enough. Now, this is where it's interesting. I don't know if you guys can see the head to head. The away team has a hundred percent record over the home team. Hundred percent record over the home team. They've never ever lost to the home team. Now, when you check their standings, and what's interesting is this Velo team, their position four, the league has just begun, and they want to, they're trying to do everything possible to catch up with the teams at the top. On the other hand, this other team is position nine, the home team, they're just climbing up. Now, the point I'm trying to make is the away team is not in a bad form, right? Technically, um, one loss in their last five away matches. And look at the team they lost to in 90 minutes. Sorry, um, after 90 minutes. This team is in the top three. Right? Now, let's investigate this other team they lost to. What's their position? Star something? Okay. Okay, so they lost to a team that is position seven in 90 minutes. But again, what I'm trying to say is we are talking about a home team that is in very despicable form. And we are talking about an away team that has beaten this home team every single time. 100% uh, record. So I'm going with a double chance for, for the away team. It's a game they will win in 90 minutes. So I'm going with a double chance for the away team. And the odd is 1.17. The next fixture we have is a team that I had already... Um, I did it yesterday already. Uh, it's it's Basel and Verdun. So, if you watched my video yesterday, you remember the prediction I gave them. As you can see the home team is averaging a minimum of 2.5 goals at home. They haven't played a single game that didn't provide two or more goals. Verdun is averaging 2.5 goals away from home. And head-to-head -head is where it's interesting. Two or more goals... Um, Provided or two or more goals happen every single time that this team meets. And this is why this game is important or critical for Basel. As you can see, Basel wants to get itself out of the relegation waters. Verdun too wants to get itself out of the relegation water. So it's a game that will be very, very intense. It's a game that we'll see both teams scoring definitely. And it's a game that will produce goals, giving the stakes. So what am I going with? I'm going with over two goals for this fixture. And the odd for over two goals for this fixture is 1.23. Up next, we have my favorite team from um, the African League, TS Galaxy and Mamalodi Sundowns. This is my favorite team, by the way, if you're wondering. Mamalodi Sundowns, and I hope... They can, you know, make the sun shine on us today. As you can see, this away team has been in very spectacular form. Not a single loss in their last five away matches. You expand to 10 games, and the last time that they lost away from home was in the Champions League. And look at the team they played against. Esperance Tunis, they should be the number one best team in Africa at the moment. The experience at uh, Tunis, they're a very, very compact and solid team from Tunisia. The point I'm trying to make is that in 10 matches, Memelodi Sundowns hasn't lost domestically. Isn't that interesting? You expand to 15 matches and the story is the same. You expand to 20 games. And the last time this team lost, again, was in the Champions League. So we are talking about a quality away team that is on the verge of clinching the uh, title for God knows how many times. Orlando Pirates used to be my favorite team back in the day. I don't know what happened to Orlando Pirates. But I mean, seasons and times change, I guess. Now, a few more wins and they will clinch their title. Isn't that interesting? And we are talking about a home team that has won three times at home and lost twice. When they've met strong oppositions on the levels of um, Stellenbosch and Chipa United is not necessarily strong, but let's use Stellenbosch 
uh, they they usually lose. And the head to head is where it's interesting. It's interesting that they have never lost to uh, Mamelodi Sundowns has never lost to TS Galaxy in 90 minutes in their last four meetings. The last time they lost was after 90 minutes. And that was a cup competition. So technically, they've never lost to this team in their last four meetings. So it's a game that um, the Melody Sundown should win in 90 minutes. And it's for this reason that I'm going with a draw no bet from the Melody Sundowns at 1.24. And finally, from the Denmark Super League, we have a horse, and I hope that's the pronunciation. But I'm not going to cut my tongue pr pronouncing some other language. And then we have this uh, Copenhagen team. It's interesting, Copenhagen has only lost once in five matches. And look at the team they lost to, not just Land. Not just Land is a team, I think, they're in the top three also. Right. Now, you expand to 10 matches, and they lost to Midland. Midland is in the top two, if not the top team. They lost to Manchester City, and this one is understandable. So in 10 games, they've only lost three times. And these three times, they lost to teams that are at the top, teams that are position one or two in, in the local league or elsewhere. The home team is not in form at all. As you can see, three losses, one win, and one draw. Head to head tells you the story. Never has Copenhagen lost to this team ever before. And it's also important we investigate their standings. And when we, we do, you see that Copenhagen needs this game to be able to keep tabs on the top position. Right? They have to win. If they win today, they'll be positioned, uh, they, they, they'll move into just one point of the top two. Right, just one point on the top, and that's something that should excite them. So it's not a game that they can sell, that they can lose. Even a draw will not be good enough, right? Because whoever finishes first or second, whoever finishes first automatically qualifies for the Champions League, and I think that's something that they will fancy. So it's a game they will win in 90 minutes, and it's for this reason that I'm going with, as you would expect, that I'm going with uh, a draw no bet for Copenhagen. So a draw no bet for Copenhagen is priced at 1.15. And of course, you have your booking code for your benefit, the Sporty Bet and one is bet. And please do well to like this video. Do well to join our Telegram channel. It's in the comment section. Very, very important. So you can derive full benefits.